And this temporary ban will affect about 50 flights arriving into the U.S. each day. Many airlines are already warning their passengers of the changes, but they'll have until Friday to fully implement them. The new temporary restrictions banning most carry-on electronics come after elevated intelligence, indicating terror groups continue to target aviation, including, quote, smuggling explosive devices and various consumer items. The ban will only affect some flights coming into the U.S. from overseas. The 10 impacted airports, all in the Middle East and Africa, are now on notice. Nine overseas airlines with flights directly into the U.S. given four days to implement the new rules. Passengers on those flights will no longer be allowed to carry on electronic devices larger than a smartphone. Tablets, laptops, and similar size electronics will now need to be checked. The fact that they are limiting this ban to a specific type of electronic device means they must have very detailed, very pristine intelligence about what the terror threat exactly is. Citing efforts to hide explosives in shoes, underwear, and in printers, U.S. officials declined to be more specific about their intelligence or say how recently it was obtained. There is no change for domestic airlines or security at home, and there is also no timetable for how long the ban, affecting an estimated 50 flights a day, will last. Possibly in the future, people will just get used to the fact that you can't bring a laptop or an iPad onto an aircraft. That may be the new normal. This morning, change is in the air. The push to keep the U.S. safe now impacting how some travel into it. No U.S. airlines are affected because no U.S. carriers operate flights from those affected airports into the U.S. Most international travelers won't notice any change. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.